Okay, so this is uh, looking at y direction graph translations. So um, the first thing we're going to look at is y equals um, sine x plus 1. So thing to notice with is that the sine is of the x and then we've got the plus 1. So we're going to draw that. Basically what that means is that everything has been moved up one unit. Okay, so the entire sine graph, so here, where we're at zero here, that pi has actually now moved up to one. Sorry, my bad drawing there. Um, the minus one here has moved up to zero. So it's basically translated everything up, the plus one there. If we look at the other direction, so let's have a look at y equals sine x minus one. Again, it's just sine of that x. It's going to send everything down so the it's going to start up go up and then follow off so basically here so i'm not drawn that quite very well it should be down at minus two um there we are tidy up a little bit um so there we can see it's moved down so every point has moved down one unit so basically if you end up with a graph that is sine x or cos or tan plus a letter whatever that may be or a number that's going to have the, the effect of not stretching the um, graph at all just moving it up or down okay so the next uh, little mini video is going to be about um, the horizontal translations